Hello everyone, today we see how to create a web roles in the power pages and also see how to create table permissions and the column permissions in a power pages. Okay, so uh, we are in the Microsoft uh, power pages designer studio. Okay, let's uh, click on these three dots. Okay, after click on this, click on the power pages portal management. Okay, through our portal management, we will create a table permissions and also assign. Uh, table permissions to the web rows okay so we are landed to the power pages uh, okay portal management application okay so in the websites okay just go to the these three dots okay and for that click on the table permission so if you can also go from the left hand side okay in the security level here is the table permissions are present from here you can be also go column permissions and web rows okay from here also you can go and create okay so in the new just click on the new table permission give the name to this um, contact table permission do the appropriate name to your permission now let's select the here column table okay so contact contact us access type which access we have to give so we give global here okay this is for practical purpose so this, that's why i give the global according to you you can be give the access type okay contact account parent cell okay so this are the right and so this the uh, four permissions we are given here and just uh, click on the save after saving the table permissions okay the table permission was creating okay okay after click on save let's go to the down and uh, here is one child table permissions were given here if you have to create a child permission from here you can be create okay so now we will add a web role okay to our table okay so we'll just click on the add existing web role from here okay and click on the new record we create a new okay so on the new web record okay this uh, window will pop up here just i will open this in the full screen let's give it to the name appropriate name okay so we will give contact us so website click on this search icon and let's select our site give the description okay please which type of user uh, wants to see this data so for now we just click on the authenticated user and anonymous user too okay for the both the users okay uh, the data will be shown by using the this web row contact us web row okay so let's click on the save so our new web role was created here okay so we just uh, close the window close from here and our web role was we linked here okay contact us web row and let's click on the add so web role was created and given to the table okay let's save it okay, so our web role is saved okay we have to give some additional table of permission you can give from here okay that's all about the friends how to create table permission and the web roles in the power pages if you have some questions okay related to the table permissions and the web roles you can be drop a comment to me okay uh, if you have some suggestions to me improve this uh, learning okay so you can drop that in the comment box also always the suggestions and uh, uh, are welcome okay we will focus how to improve it and make it more better that's all friends thank you have a nice day keep learning keep growing keep exploring thank you